Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Saturday, the 22nd of April, 2023. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> Give me some updates. It's all about bees. Everything is about bees right now. I'm getting prepared. Uh, the bees are going to be in on Monday. So I was looking at, I'm um, like, okay, I got to get things set up. I got to get things ready. So I uh, actually made another trip today back to the bee store, and I bent their ear for probably three hours. They were really cool. They were really cool. We were talking all kinds of, a little bit of everything. Uh, they were giving me some advice with the bees and uh, telling me what I need to do and, and all those type of things, and that was really interesting, really, really interesting. And when I uh, put the bees in the hive, I will show you all that on video when we get to that point. But I picked up a couple of things when I was there, and I will show you guys. Uh, one of the things that I picked up was a smoker. And actually, this here, uh, this smoker is actually quite interesting, actually. So he was telling me with these smokers, they uh, have had a lot of uh, people have burned down houses, uh, burned up cars because of these smokers, and what happens with that? Why? So if you lean this forward, and I'll show you the inside here, you have this metal piece, okay? It sits in there, and so you put that you put that in there. You put your the pine needles, I guess, is what they use the most, is what he was telling me. So you put your pine needles in there, and uh, get your fire started. You get your top here like that. Uh, this here. Let's see. I think this just I'm trying to figure out how this popped off again. I think that got bent in. All right, I, hold on a second, guys. I gotta. This metal piece comes off, and I wanna pop that off of there. There we go. Does not need to be. Ah, there we go. I see. What I had to squeeze it in tighter. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. Okay, so um, what you have underneath here on the back side, I'll show you this way. So you got a hole here, and you got the hole here. So that's blowing the air from here into here, which stokes the fire. Okay. Close this back up now. Now that I know what I needed to do with it, I was wondering why that wasn't uh, why that was being so difficult. And it's just a matter of squeezing that in more, and that pops right off. But there's your smoker, and then you just blow the smoke out. But what I guess what happens is people leave this in the back of a, a truck with a, pa a plastic bed liner. It gets really hot. Uh, ends up catching the uh, bed of the truck on fire, and that's how you burn up a truck. But, uh, you know, you got your thing here. You pop that open, you put your stuff in there. You just hold that there, squeeze that, you're blowing your smoke out. So that's one of the things I got. Uh, the next thing I got was a pair. These are goatskin beekeeper gloves, okay? So, I will, relax, Ella, relax, babe, I know, everything is very interesting. 
So I'll probably have uh, some kind of flannel on and then you take these gloves you put these on and it's got the uh, the bees are going to be looking to get underneath anything right so you got your flannel on you put that over the top and then that goes like that and then you have you know your finger dexterity with that uh, I, I did um, tell them that I needed uh, the jacket with the hood and so they're going to be they're getting that for me uh, they didn't have any extra large in there uh, so, but beekeepers gloves ready to go that way. Uh, the last thing that I picked up today was this here, and this is a beekeeping tool. All right. So uh, this side is, and I'll show you how that works when we get out there. But then you got your your scraper. That's your scraper there, so you can scrape off the wax and everything else like that and uh, so that is your beekeeping tool so I picked those up today uh, they were giving me some good information uh, of how to you know with the queen what I need to do with the queen uh, transferring her into the uh, new beehive uh, one of the things that I had asked them uh, so you know what, what you do is you have the queen is going to be in a box like this big and you set that in between and they showed me how to do that and you have a stick and a rubber band and you got it all set that way uh, it, it's a really interesting thing the way and, I, and like I said I'll show that when I'm doing it when I'm getting the bees into um, the beehive <clears throat> so then they were showing me what I need to do once the queen gets out and she is in the uh, in the hive and uh, you know what I need to do at that point so really really interesting a lot of good advice and I think that that's a good thing and uh, so uh, what else were they were telling me um, oh, I had so many questions and they were giving me a lot of oh I said so how long will it take them like he said once they fill up seven of the slots once they get to that point then you gotta put the next one on top you gotta buy another box now each box that you're buying is about sixty three dollars okay and so I said um, okay well how long will it take them to fill up that first one and the first one is primarily eggs alright that's what they're putting in that first box it's all going to be eggs uh, the second one is also going to be or bee larvae as they call it uh, it's all going to be you know that again on the second one once you get to the third one, there's a thing that you put in there so that the queen can't get up into the third one, but the worker bees can, because the queen is bigger. And then they will, from that point up higher, it'll be all honey. So once they get seven of them done, then you put the next box on there. And what you do is you take one of the rows of um, uh, from the of the bottom box put one of the rows from the one you're putting on top down into the bottom box then take that one and put it on the top box and then you put your top and everything back on it and I'll kind of explain that while I'm doing it because it'll make more sense but you that way you start out with stuff up there and the bees will realize that they have to go up into the next box to take care of uh, the things there you want to keep the bees busy they told me that you want to make sure that they're working if they're not working they'll leave they'll swarm and they'll be gone so we don't want that. We want the bees to be happy working bees. Uh, I am going to be feeding them a mixture of sugar water, and they talk to me about that and how often and how quickly they'll go through that in the beginning, and then you cut them off from that once you get to a certain point. So you got your two boxes. Then the third box after that will be like the honey box, and again I'll have to get extra slats to be able to take ones that are full of honey out and put the other ones in so they're staying busy they're keeping working uh, once you get to that point you're going to basically check on them about once every 10 days see how they're doing and stuff like that so um, i am excited about this uh, i think it's going to be a very interesting project uh, i'm trying to learn as much as i can i think it's a it's a great thing to have uh, you know bees and uh, to be able to take care of them properly 
and to do those type of things. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about all of that. And uh, it's just going to... It's going to be a process, like anything else, but uh, it'll be, uh, you know, an, an interesting thing. And, uh, you know, being able to produce our own honey, uh, getting beeswax as well, uh, you know, and all those type of things, I think it's a really cool thing. And there's so many benefits to bees. Uh, you know, just eating the raw honey alone is going to help boost your immune system. And I think that that's a really cool thing as well. So... That's kind of where I'm at. That's what I was doing today. So it's only going to be the one video today, so I do apologize for that. I just had, in my head, I'm like, this is the focus. Excuse me, this is the focus. I need to get this squared away. I need to find out. Um, and they were very accommodating and, you know, really, really awesome. And so, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And uh, so I'm, I'm sure we'll be having lots more contact with them. Uh, they got a pretty good sized shop. And, uh, you know, they also, they, do, they have, uh, a, a, you know, a homebrew stuff as well. So if you want to do a home brewing of beer or wine or whatever, uh, they have that as well. So that's like a combination of that and the honeybees. And so really, really cool, really, really excited. So they have all these bees coming in Monday. So I asked them, I said, well, how many people have ordered bees, right? Because I'm just curiosity. 75 people are coming to pick up bees on Monday. And I thought that was really, really cool. So there's a lot of people um, from advanced beekeepers to, like me, a very novice beekeeper. Uh, it, it's just uh, it's a step in the evolution of what I want to do down here, what I want to get accomplished, and what I want to take care of. And so I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be a very, very cool thing overall. And I'm looking forward to this moving forward uh, and being part of the homestead and sharing it with you. And there will definitely be a beekeeping series. We'll start another whole series just on the beekeeping. So whenever uh, I'm taking care of the bees, I will do videos and show you and, and those type of things. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I am excited. Now, will I get stung? Most likely. Most likely uh, I will get stung. But, you know, it's, again, it's part of the process, and it's what you do. And hopefully, uh, you know, once the bees get to know me and know who I am, they won't sting me, I'm hoping. So we'll see. But, uh, okay, so how many bees? Uh, for every pound of bees, it is uh, 4,000 bees, is in a pound of bees. So I'll be getting anywhere between 3.5 to 4 pounds of bees. So you're looking at roughly, uh, you know, fourteen to 16,000 bees is what we're going to be getting plus the queen. So that's kind of neat, you know. And uh, so, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be an interesting thing. Um, again, I'm excited about it, and I think it's going to be uh, an interesting journey, and we'll see what happens. But, uh, so, but very, very cool. Uh, it's, going to be, uh, it's going to be neat. So anyway, guys, that's where I'm at. That's what I had going on today. Uh, just trying to glean as much information off of people that know what they're doing and know what they're talking about, which uh, the people were very, very nice and very accommodating uh, once again. And uh, so I appreciated that. Uh, excited about this. I really am. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're all being safe. Uh, remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, Whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody's having a great night. Prep and Nurse One, out for now.